Hi, I'm Cindy Lynch, Stenograph's Training Program Manager, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up for real time and take a remote job using a web conferencing application such as Zoom. You'll want your remote proceeding to be as close as possible to the same experience as being there in person. You want to be able to see and hear all of the participants, as well as being able to see your screen. That means you'll want to have two screens, one for the web conference app and one for your real-time translation. You can do this in a couple of ways, using one computer with two monitors, or two computers, or one computer and one other device with a web browser, such as a tablet. In this video, I'm going to set up using my laptop PC for Catalyst Real-Time and a tablet, my iPad, for the web conferencing application. You'll set up for your remote real-time session pretty much the same way as you set up for an in-person real-time session, with just a couple of minor differences. My writer is connected to my computer. I also use an external sound card and I plug my microphone into that sound card. Now, if we were all in the same room, I'd place my microphone in a position that would let me get the best possible input from each speaker in the room. In a remote depot, the sound will be coming from the web conference software or a telephone, depending on whether you use the computer's sound or the call-in number. Most reporters who have done remote proceedings agree that the best quality sound comes from using the call-in number option versus audio from the web conferencing software. Rather than turn up the volume on the speaker for their cell phone, many reporters will connect their phone to a speaker to get the best possible sound quality. You can use any brand of speaker that connects to the phone you want to use. Regardless of how you listen, all you need to do for audio sync is to place the computer's microphone next to the device where you will be hearing the audio, such as the phone or the speaker attached to the phone. Now, there are other options to capture sound for audio sync if you're using the computer audio versus the call-in number. However, rather than go into all of the different possibilities in this video, I'll suggest you visit the Stenograph Solution Center, also known as the Support Help Desk. If you search for the phrase Remote Audio Sync, you'll find documents that detail various setup options. Okay, with the hardware pretty much set up, we're ready to begin real time. Open up Catalyst on the computer. Select Translate. Give the file a name. Select dictionaries and any other options you need. The same things you would normally do when working in person instead of remotely. When you're ready, click OK. Write a few strokes. And then you're ready to begin when the proceedings begin. Next, we'll connect to the web conference app, in this case Zoom, on the tablet, and we'll establish audio and visual contact with everyone. Whomever scheduled the proceeding will have sent you an invitation via email. You can open the email on your tablet and press the link to the meeting in that email, or you can open the app, click Join, and enter the meeting ID number. If the organizer has secured the meeting with a password, you'll be required to enter your password. The password to enter the meeting is included with the invitation. As I mentioned earlier, many reporters prefer to use the call-in number for better sound quality. If you're using a speaker with the phone, turn it on and connect to your phone. Enter the call-in number that was provided in the Zoom invitation or one of the phone numbers on the screen when you join the conference and connect to the others in the conference. As each person joins the meeting, you'll see their picture or their preferred video image and tools for the meeting at the bottom of the screen. Make sure you can hear everyone. Here's a tip. Anyone who is using the computer audio should be reminded to mute their microphones when they are not speaking, as this improves the sound quality for everyone and prevents background noise from interfering with everyone's ability to hear each other. And that's pretty much it. You're ready to go. 
This video has explained how to get up and running with a remote proceeding with Catalyst on one computer and the web conference application on another device. There may be additional skills you'll want to develop depending on the individual requirements of your job. Check out Stenograph's YouTube channel for additional videos that you may find helpful. If you have a question, please send an email to training at stenograph.com. If you have a current Edge for Catalyst agreement, you can post questions at stenographhelp.askbot.com. A knowledgeable Stenograph representative will answer your questions as quickly as we can. I hope this has been helpful. We understand that our customer base is facing unprecedented closures and work shortages during the COVID-19 crisis. We are working hard to help ease that pain. We are in this together. We are here to take care of our customers. The strength to emerge from this pandemic will come from us working together. We will recover and we will come out stronger.